Hi darlings, in today's video I will be showing you how to make your hands silky, baby soft using only organic products. Let's get started. So there's a few things you're going to need for this recipe and that is a mixing bowl of your choice. Make sure that the bowl is not a plastic bowl. I just find that the coconut oil sticks to it and it's kind of an irritation. You also need a spoon to mix everything together. The key ingredient which is the Epsom salt. Honestly you guys, this recipe works really really well with Epsom salt but you may use brown sugar if you really don't have Epsom salt. You also need coconut oil for this recipe. Now I do get into the benefits of coconut oil and all the other ingredients later on in the video. So do make sure that you watch till the end of the video to find out what those are. FYI, if you don't like the greasiness of coconut oil, you can definitely use olive oil as an alternative. Next thing you want to use is a shot glass or some sort of measuring cup. Now I'm starting off with my cold water already in my bowl and I'm going to be adding my warm water that I've already boiled. This is actually hot water but I'm trying to get the temperature to be warm but a bit on the hotter side if that makes sense. Now I am feeling the temperature of the water by putting in my fingers in just to make sure that the water is the right temperature because like I said you don't want the water to be too cold or too hot because once your hands are in there they need to stay in there throughout the whole soak. Now the next thing you want to do is add your tea tree oil. Honestly this is an optional step but I do recommend that you guys use tea tree oil. Tea tree oil has so many different benefits. It can help soothe dry skin. It reduces irritation as well as itching. If you have oily skin, the anti properties of tea tree oil may also contribute to the ability to combat the oily skin. So that is really, really good. Next is my peppermint oil. This is also an optional ingredient, but I do enjoy peppermint oil also because of the properties that it has. Peppermint oil is very good for the skin because it helps with antifungal properties as well, and it does smell good. And I only add about one to two drops at a time, nothing more than that because it can irritate the skin. Now, the thing about peppermint oil is you also need to make sure that if you're going to use it directly on the skin, you need to make sure it is diluted either in another carrier oil such as olive oil or coconut oil or in this case even water as much as water doesn't really mix with oil i do like the properties that it adds to the soak now you do want to leave your hands in here for at least a minimum of 10 to 12 minutes or at least until you feel that your hands have been nice and soaked by the soak mixture that we made and you want to dry your hands before doing the scrub to do the scrub i'm using my coconut oil first and i'm using a whole tablespoon of coconut oil you can use about two uh, tablespoons of coconut oil if you want to make a whole mixture that's going to last you for a longer period of time but me personally i don't want something that's going to be in my fridge for too long so i just use about a tablespoon of coconut oil and i use my spoon to just mix it down making sure that it dissolves before i move on to the next step Now the next thing you want to do is add your Epsom salt and I'm adding about a third of the Epsom salt. Now Epsom salt is very good to relax the muscles as well as to relieve pain in your hands. But the real reason why we're using Epsom salt is because it will be softening up our hands. Okay, this is why this recipe works really, really well to soften up hard hands, hands that go to the gym, hands that work hard, basically hands that are not feeling baby soft. It helps with exfoliating the dead skin cells off of your skin, making sure that your skin feels smooth as a baby's bum. And now it's time to apply the scrub onto your hands you need to be really nice and gentle when you do this now i have said this before a lot of times you have to be super super gentle because you might find that you'll irritate your skin and this can actually cause the opposite it might have your hands be even rough and not be soft it might have your hands feeling very tender and inflamed and that's not what we want to do so you want to be super gentle while doing this massaging it on your fingers making sure that you go through on the top of your hands in between your fingers 
on the bottom of your hands, on the palm of your hands, everywhere that you can do around your hands, okay? But making sure that you are nice and gentle. Learn a little bit of finesse when you do this, okay? Now, once you're done with the scrub, you want to rinse your hands with warm water and make sure the water is more on the hotter side than it is on the colder side because you want to make sure that the olive oil or the coconut oil is off of your fingers and off of your hands. It does get a bit greasy, so don't mind that. Just make sure that you rinse your hands thoroughly with the warm water and use the towel to dry your hands off properly. I promise you the greasiness will leave your skin. It will just start feeling more smoother and more silkier. You'll know what I'm talking about if you try this method. Now the last thing you want to do is add your coconut oil. Don't add too much. You don't want your hands to be super greasy and slippery. You just want them to be well nourished and well moisturized. The important thing about using a coconut oil instead of your usual body lotion is that it helps soften your skin, especially with consistent long-term use you'll definitely be able to see the difference. Coconut oil revitalizes the skin and it even helps with lessening severity of wrinkles as well as stretch marks and just a lot of things that you don't want on your body or on your skin. But definitely for your hands, it will improve the look of your hands and make your hands feel super silky and super soft. If you guys enjoyed this video, please do not forget to give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel for more content. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye now.